Hi, I'm Roger Coons. I'm a geologist. You can tell because I have a hand lens, I've got a rock hammer, I've got this really cool vest with lots of pockets, which are very handy, and I got this rad fedora to keep the sun off my head. Now, I've also got a lot of fossils and evidence of life through the ages. Geologists are much like time travelers. We look at the pages of the Earth's book right here, and that's like looking at the layers and levels and stratigraphy of the Earth, from the mountaintops all the way to the oceans and everything in between and underneath. Geologic time covers the entire history of the Earth, of every living thing. And a great way to understand it is by using a clock. Think of the 4.6 billion years of the Earth's history in terms of a 24-hour day. That's what we're going to do. Now, in order to do this, one hour is equal to about 200 million years, and a minute is about 3.16 million years. And a second, well, that's 52,000 years. It all starts out pretty intense with volcanism and lots of activity, asteroids falling out of the sky to form the Earth in the first half billion years of time. Put at about 5.45 a.m., that's only early morning, we see the first life. It's bacterium. You can see a picture of it here in this fossil. It wasn't until 8.21 a.m., 500 million years later, that we see the first aquatic life like algae, shown here as these beautiful little green organisms. Now the Earth needed a lot of time to make multicellular life. We pass noon, still trying to develop this multicellular life, all the way into early afternoon. At 8.52 p.m., 20 hours and 52 minutes into our 24-hour day, and having gone through 4 billion years of history, that's 85% of the Earth's history, we see jellyfish in the oceans. Things start happening now. Between 9.15 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. on our clock, representing 530 to 480 million years, the first fish appear, and with them, coral reefs. On land, we see the first funny-looking land plants, like this Cooksonia, and of course, insects. Now we're making progress. I mean, it has only been 4.1 billion years of history so far. During this time, the very successful animal, called trilobites, shown in this fossil here, lived nearly 270 million years during this time. Trilobites belong to the phylum Arthropoda. Arthropoda is the same phylum that lobsters belong to, but they didn't show up until about 1015, 316 million years ago. 1015 at night, by the way. We've only got an hour and 45 minutes left in the day. We also have living fossils, such as this horseshoe crab. Take a look at one. Yeah. This is a horseshoe crab. This uh, species evolved 350 million years ago at the end of the Devonian early Carboniferous. So you can see him, he's got an arthropod underside, uh, very much like a trilobite. Now the trilobites are extinct, but this guy made it through all of the mass extinctions his mouth is right in the middle there, by the way, right here. Now things begin happening fast relative to geologic time. Between about 10 o'clock p.m. and 10.30 p.m., we see the development of our first rainforests, and in them is a population of the first amphibians. At about 10.23 p.m., the first reptiles show up. Of course, these developed into the very successful crocodiles that are still with us today. But then the world was plunged into a catastrophic mass extinction. 
volcanism and asteroid impacts just about wiped out the earth. But out of catastrophe arises hope and promise. But out of such a catastrophe, it took more than five million years for the ecosystems of the earth to recover. I know you've been waiting for this. Dinosaurs showed up at 10.45 p.m., or 251 million years ago. You would have recognized a lot of the trees in these ancient dinosaurian forests. The terrestrial dinosaurs populated the Earth for over 185 million years. That's a long time, especially when you compare it to our very short time here on Earth. Another thing about the Cretaceous landscape is there were dinosaurs in every habitat. You could find them in the dry areas, even in the Arctic, but certainly through the, the you know, lush places like this. So. Watch out for the T-Rex! time of the dinosaurs, we see the first rodent-like mammals appearing at about 11 p.m. Now we've only got an hour left in our 24-hour day, and it's only now we're making mammals. That was 178 million years ago. And the first birds at 11.16 p.m. And the very first flowers at 11.20 p.m. The reign of the terrestrial dinosaurs ended in yet another catastrophic collision of events involving massive volcanic eruptions and asteroid impacts. This marked the end of the Cretaceous period, 65.5 million years ago, or at 11.39 p.m. on our clock. But avian dinosaurs, what we now call birds, survived. During this time, the first grasses in prairies evolved. That was at 11.42 p.m., about 55 million years ago. We've only got a minute and 15 seconds left in our 24-hour day. The first hominids, forerunners to Homo sapiens, again, that's you and me, jumped out of the trees about 3.5 million years ago, and that is only one minute and 15 seconds before midnight on our clock. This dinosaur catastrophe gave mammals a chance to fill ecosystems and eventually gave rise to humans, you and me. Two million years ago, the Earth was plunged into an ice age. All of this just a minute before midnight, and this ended with a comet impacting what is now Canada, where the ice sheet was well over a mile thick. Now we see the rise of Homo sapiens during the Ice Age. This happened only 15 seconds before midnight. Yep, we are that young, evolving only 200,000 years ago. Humans, well, we're newcomers. And now we are in the Anthropocene geologic period, a geologic period where we've significantly altered the planet's ecosystems. We did this, humans. We did this by burning fossil fuels that led to global warming and climate change. So we are the dominant species and must behave in a sustainable manner like nature, because this is the only planet we have. There is no planet B. Next time you look at a clock, think of geologic time and our place in it, and how you spend your time. Thank you.